There's nothing worse than coming into an empty team and seeing absolutely nothing going on. It's a bit like going into a empty boardroom when you're ready to give a presentation and nobody turns up. Um, nothing's prepared, there's nothing plugged in. Bit of a lonely feeling. So we don't want our people to have the same experience when they go into our team, do we? Hey, this is Daryl as a service. We're about ready to invite our people into our team. And it's uh, going to be uh, a controlled experience. We're not gonna just invite people into an empty team. We're gonna do things in a certain order to make sure that it's a smooth experience. Um, so in this point, we're going to uh, try and address a few things. If you are inviting people into an empty team, it's it's a bit of a tumbleweed experience. You know, the dust is blowing. It's a bit like an old Western scene. Um, and the thing is that the, the process of creating a team actually guides you into this very experience. You give the team a name, you give it um, a description, and the very next screen, you add people to it. And uh, as soon as you hit the next button, you're actually adding those members to an empty team. Not cool. So I'd skip that step. You really want to onboard your people for ready for teamwork. So we're going to cover a few things that will help you do this. Um, you want to onboard the, the team members at this point um, and orient them for the use of the team. Um, set it up. If you're a team owner or the project owner or community owner, then you definitely want to set it up um, so that it's going to suit your purposes. Um, but the other thing I like to do is try and build that team together. So as an owner, you are creating some things ahead of time, but you're doing the um, some of the finishing touches or even taking in some uh, additional feedback uh, from the rest of your team. First thing you want to do is send out an introductory email. Now this seems a bit backwards because we're using Teams and maybe some of you, the goal is to, to reduce email. But what is the communication channel we use to get people um, on board and make them aware of things? Um, it is email. Now hopefully they'll read it. But we're getting ahead of the invite email that, we might, that we're going to send when we add them to the team. So send that ahead of time and set the expectations that they're going to receive an invite and here's the purpose as, as to why. What I can't stand is being invited to or added to a number of different teams with absolutely no context. It's a bit like being invited to a, a meeting with absolutely no agenda and a poorly written subject line. Now the other thing we're going to do is create our first post after we've invited people to the team. And we're going to highlight the about page or the about tab that we created earlier because that's going to be one of the functional areas that we're going to work on during this uh, this first experience in the team. Um, and we'll set some onboarding tasks to get people engaged and to, um, to let them know and to signal, hey, I'm part of the team and I am here, I've made it. Um, we're going to schedule a, our first meeting at the same time, right? So we've invited people. Uh, rather, sorry, we've we've sent the introductory email, we've waited for a bit, we've invited people to the team, and then we've created our first post in the general channel as an announcement perhaps. Um, then we'll schedule a meeting. Now the reason we do it in this order is because you can't invite people to a meeting um, in a channel in the team until they're actually part of the team. Okay. So we'll uh, bring the team together um, the goal is to build the team, to agree on how we're going to communicate, collaborate, and coordinate tasks, and we'll work off a few kickoff, uh, work through a few kickoff activities to set the tone for teamwork in our team. So let's take a look at what I've done so far. We've sent off an email. Um, this email is uh, all about uh, letting people know what the the purpose of the team is for. So the um, the goal here is to, to say there is an email coming, um, you're going to be invited to the team, the purpose of the team, uh, and also an invite to our first meeting. But I've listed out some, some introductory or, or kickoff tasks. So as you're joining the team, these are the things that I want you to do. Um, install teams if you haven't already done so, if this is your first team that you've, you've joined. Um, take a look at the, uh, the welcome announcement and reply to it. So it's all in the same thread. Uh, which lets me know that you've made it into my team. Uh, also, I've pinned a slide deck to the team, 
uh, which is going to guide us through some questions to help this co-creation exercise. So as team members, we're going to create this team together uh, and really set that tone. Um, and then maybe we'd bring along a list of tasks for our project. If this is the purpose for our team, we could, and we could just drop them into the planner or whatever tool you're using to coordinate the tasks. So that's the email that I send. And I wait a bit of, wait a bit of time because I want to make sure that it gets there uh, before the invite itself. Um, and then I create my first post as well within the team. Um, so this is the first post here. I've made it an announcement post so it stands out. Um, and I've at mentioned the team. And um, you know because I uh, have invited people to this team, uh, that means that the at mention is going to um, going to get to going to get to those people. You note here that I've I've actually um, added all all of the people to the team after sending the introductory email. Uh, sent or created the announcement post so that it gets uh, sent through to the team. It roughly says the same kind of thing um, to set the tone as the introductory email. And uh, following that, I have set a, a meeting invite for that first um, for that first meeting. So here's the agenda. Um, you'll see it's the Modern Workplace Project kickoff. And when you're setting this meeting, um, you're making it a channel meeting. As you can see, it's in the channel because we're going to set that tone and make sure that all our meetings are in there to, to keep that life cycle together. I also had to go through and after I'd finished um, sending that, that or setting that meeting within the, the channel, um, I went and edited it and gave it a subject. Because at this stage, when you create a meeting in a channel, it'll create the meeting um, and you saw that purple bar there, which is where you can actually join the meeting. The agenda itself uh, just sits out there as you know, text on its own with no subject. So that'll be a feature request I make is that the subject of the meeting also becomes the subject of the conversation thread within the channel meeting. So we've got that, people can join it. And the last thing that we're going to look at is what we'll be covering within the meeting itself to help build our team. Um, I've created a, a slide deck which uh, helps to guide people through. I know this is kind of a, a rough version of it, uh, but the goal here is to, to work together as a team uh, and fill out some of the things like the purposes of the team, setting that tone for why are we here and what are we doing, and the main work streams for this team as well, which actually end up becoming channels as we build the team together. Um, we've got lists of roles and responsibilities, um, how we're going to use the general channel, um, and then maybe a couple of channels that we're going to start setting up as part of our team. Um, some things that we're going to agree on that, that are around how we uh, post and, and communicate, uh, what we do before meetings, during and after, uh, and then maybe some rules around how we collaborate together. Um, so that's generally what um, I am aiming to do in terms of helping onboard people into the team in a controlled fashion. So we set that tone, people know what's going on, and uh, we can get into, into teamwork as quickly as we can. Um, I do really like the concept of of involving people in building this team because as soon as they become part of it, they take ownership. Um, they feel heard, uh, that their suggestions are there, and they often have good suggestions because they're subject matter experts as well. So if you are quite keen and seeing more of this kind of content, then do tune in uh, to this particular playlist and my channel at Modern Workplace Scenarios. You also know where to find me on Twitter and various different social media. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you again.